Ace Tuesday Tip. That's really hard to say. Try saying that like three times. Hi guys! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm starting a new series called Tuesday Tips. So the idea is that every Tuesday I'll come on here and film a video under five minutes sharing a quick tip that you can use to either make your photography game stronger, your Instagram game stronger, your social media game stronger, your skincare game stronger, blah blah. Just basically any tips that has helped me as a person, as a woman in the world, world life a little bit easier. I wanted to share that tips with you and if you can help one person, that is great. Today Tuesday tip is all about how to get products to review for Instagram, for blogs, for YouTube, blah, etc. When you are not on a PR list and companies are not emailing you yet and you want to start building a platform for brands to show them that you've worked with other brands but you're not, you're still scared to send out emails, send out pitch emails to companies. I either get companies send me emails about collaborations or I pitch to companies that I want to work with. Let's say it's not for someone that is comfortable with pitching. This video is for someone that is just starting out and is just wants to get some brand collapse under the belt without having to do that pitch email yet. So I'm gonna share with you guys five web I'm gonna share with you guys five websites that I have used and I still use some of them today to get a product sent to me that I can review and post for social media and usage. And make sure you stay all the way to the fifth point because I'm going to show one that you don't have to be an influencer or content creator, you just have to have a social media account to be able to get product to review for whatever social media account. You don't have to have a big following, you just have to literally have an account. The first company I want to talk about is called Octoly. The best way to describe Octoly is like a store, an online store where influencers can go and look at the different brands that are on Octoly and then they can send an email, send a message to the brand letting them know that they want to work with them or collaborate with them. Octoly, you get tons and tons of high-end product on the website. They have their range from home decor to beauty, to fashion, to jewelry, any pretty much a lot of the niche that I'm looking to review, Octoly has a company that is on it. So actually you go on the website, on the website, you see a product you want or you like or um, order it, and then actually sends your order to the brand, and then if the brand likes you and thinks that you're a good fit and a good match for them, then your order is processed and then the order will get shipped and everything will get shipped and come to you. The website is for bloggers only. For bloggers only is not really that well known. I don't know that many people on it, but it's a great website if you're a fashion specific blogger or content creator. Because on there you can get to try, you could get, you find so many different um, clothing brands, purses and shoes. So it's catered to a fashion um, content creator and fashion consumers. So it's a, very similar to Octoly again, is in that way you find pieces or you find items that you like, then you place it in a shopping cart, then you order it, and then that order is sent to the brand, and then the brand will get back to you if they think it's a perfect match, and then once that process happens, you get it sent back to you. And so, uh, um, no, for bloggers only, you get the product and then you shoot it and you so for me, I've been exposed to so many different brands on um, for bloggers only because they have all these ranges of stores and brands and like different handbag companies, shoe companies, jewelry companies that I've never really heard of or been exposed to. So on there, I can shop and also learn about new brands. Like I said, there's a brand that has a lot of pieces that is very similar to me. I will research that company and find the PR person and pitch them if I want to. Otherwise, if I don't want to pitch, I just click on it and I order and you're good. The first two, the first two ones I've mentioned, you don't get paid to do um, you don't get paid to do a product um, review or throw any post. You're basically doing that work in exchange for free. You're doing the product in exchange for content, which is great if you're starting out yet and you're still not comfortable with pitching, negotiating, 
and charging for your um, for your content until you're ready to do that. The next one I'm going to talk about is Regulence, which just changed the name to Aspire IQ. I really like using Regulence. It's one I don't use that often, but it's one that you can get paid on. So again, it's very similar to where all these brands come to this website and be like, oh, we have this product, we have this item on launch that we would love uh, an influencer to um, work on. So Rev Revfluence is a really great way to kind of start like learning how to pitch because Revfluence has an option so you see an item or you see a brand you want to work with, you message them, you send them a message, it's not just like, like you order and there's no message, you can send them a message and sometimes um, send them a little pitch on what you would do and why they should work with you because on so many other uh, content creators and send them a message so you want to stand out so I typically would send a message or like a pitch idea on like what I would love to work on or like what I think would be useful and I'll send it to the brand and then hopefully it works and in, in um, Revlus also has a option where you can put how much you charge so let's say you try, you're doing a video, you could put your rates for that video so the company sees it before they even say yes or no, or if they want to negotiate, they can negotiate. So you could do make money through that and you put your rates, so it's not regulars telling you, oh, this is how much you charge. They give you an estimate based on your following and your engagement and all those numbers, but then you send your indirect contact with the company pitching to them and trying to work with them. And so Revlon is a really great way if you're not ready to do the search of finding the right person to email because the right person to email is already there. You just send them a direct message on Revlon and send them a little pitch on why they should work with you and why you love the brands or why you work with them. And then from there it goes on and different brands and different brands and different campaign on Revlon has different length periods. I've worked on a campaign from Revulence, a paid campaign from Revulence that was like a four months campaign. So the fourth um, um, one I want to talk about is called Social Native. Social Native, I would say it's a myth, it's between Revulence and four bloggers only and actually because Social Native has everything. Literally it has stuff from tra for travel people, for tech people, just for any niche, and Social Native has it. Not really pitching. You're just like ordering. Um, you're just saying, "I would love to participate with this brand." And if the brand says yes, then you work and you get the product sent to you. Or sometimes um, you have the option. Like sometimes, if it's like a very tight schedule and you don't have enough time for the product to arrive to you, then they will have you order the product or go buy the product and then reimburse you for that. So you make money from it, but you're not pitching. You're just basically saying, I want to work with this company. Then the company looks at your profile, looks at your stats, and see if, it's ma if it matches. Then they say yes. And that's how that one works. Last but not least is Influencer. I don't use Influencer as much because I just don't have time. Because Influencer is for anybody. You don't have to have a big following unless they've changed it last time. I use it like maybe like seven months ago. It was the last time I used it. You don't have, and I told my friends to use it. that just want to get new makeup. Influencer is a great place to get products to try without having to have a big following and not spending your money on it if you don't have the budget. They'll send you an email, oh, we have this campaign. They never tell you what the product is until the end, until you've been accepted, which is kind of cool because you. But also it also makes it kind of like tricky because sometimes maybe I, I don't want to necessarily try this product then I go through all this survey and then I get it but it's not something I want. So like I wish it for influencer, I wish there was a way for me to know what the product was or what the company was in advance before I did the survey. So let me go. So they'll ask you a survey re relating to the product or the company, like how often do you buy eyeliner, how often do you buy a mascara, sometimes sometimes the questionnaire are super short, sometimes they take you maybe like five minutes max, and so you do that and then if you're paired up, paired um, with that brand, if your survey matches what the brand needs, what the kind of person the brand needs, then they'll send you a box and then you get to, I can't remember the time limit, then you get to try it and re review it and you keep it. 
But the only thing I don't like about the influence, influencer is that aspect of the survey because let's say it's something you don't really want to try or it's something you don't know and you can take this whole survey, then they send it to you and you're like, oh wait, I already have this. So sometimes it could be a, to me, it was, to me it was just time consuming because I would, like if I knew what the product they wanted to, for me to try or for me to review, I would be like, okay, cool, I want to do this, let me do the survey and maybe I'll get it. But because you don't know exactly what it is, you're doing the survey hoping it's something good. So those are the five places you can go to get free products to review that you don't have to be a big influencer or you don't have to be an influencer. You just have to have a social media account and have a passion for talking about products and reviewing and trying new things and just go for it and just do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys next Tuesday for Tuesday Tips. Let me know what tips you guys would like. I will... Do the research. I got a Tuesday tip for you. I got a Tuesday tip for you. Are you ready to watch Tuesday tips?